Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a reading for all the 12 signs from Aries to Pisces with a bonus for the collective at the end. All the decks are pre-shuffled, but I will shuffle them a couple of times more. The video will go faster, but you will see the process. If you want to jump around through the signs, you'll find the timestamps down below and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. All right, guys, we are ready. So Aries, you are up first. The Oracle cards for you ask for help from others. And the tree of life, true wisdom and making good choices in life. Energy for you. Seven of pentacles and the strength card. Energy around you. Ooh, seven of swords. And the king of swords. The focus for you. Eight of wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Trust may not be a factor in favor of the connection that you have been sharing with your person of interest, guys. You are dealing with a smart individual, King of Swords, but they can be manipulative. They can try to twist words and situations to their advantage. Ask for help from others can be an important oracle card. It's like some of you may have the necessity to ask for some advice to people that you can trust. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands can be about Cupid's arrows, arrows of love. What has been available, let's say, in the connection with this particular person. What about consistency? What about determination, dedication, a laser focused approach in favor of a positive development for a connection? There can be a contrast, guys, about what can be available for this connection. Your person of interest can say that everything is fine. Some of you can be more hesitant, seven of pentacles, and you can resist this person. This can be a wise move, guys, a good choice. The strength card is an energy about trust and patience for me. Without trust, there cannot be love. And the Seven of Swords is not an energy in favor of a trustworthy connection. And if we think about patience, maybe you have been patient with this person, but the rewards that you saw in the connection cannot be considered as something that is enough from your perspective. So there is going to be a conversation, guys. This person will still try to manipulate that conversation and you will have to be wise and strong in order to handle the situation by making the best possible decision for you, not the best possible thing for this person, the best possible Thing for you. The odds are not in favor of this connection, guys. If there is no trust, there cannot be success. And it seems that some of you already got that type of realization. Now it's just a matter of gathering the courage to make it count. And you can do that. Tauros, the oracle cards for you. Let's see. Wait. And Dragonfly, you bring light to this world. Energy for you. Five of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Energy around you. The Justice and the Page of Swords. The Focus for you. Nine of Cups and the Hermit. So... The Dragonfly Oracle card offers to our attention the message you bring light to this world. In this case, you have to bring a light in a confusionary situation. The Lantern of the Hermit can serve you guys well in order to figure out what the Five of Wands turmoil is about. Wait. It seems that you are dealing with a person of interest that doesn't feel that the time is right for your connection to take a step forward. You would love to see stronger foundations in favor of the connection, King of Pentacles, 
you can be super grounded, super stable, you have the right mindset, you know that by putting in the right amount of effort, we can achieve positive results and your person instead can be more superficial guys, page of swords. It's like they are looking at you because deep within they know that there can be a justice moment for this connection. The justice for me is basically a right and fair decision that follows a right and fair evaluation. This connection may lack balance because your person can be satisfied, nine of cups, with the situation as it is, and that's why they can ask you guys to wait if we think about, for example, a higher level of commitment. But the five of ones can bring more and more confusion to you because it is possible that you can question the overall stability of the connection. And if you do that, this is almost an answer about the connection that you are experiencing. So is it a wish granted for you, the opportunity to be by this person's side? You have to figure things out. But the hermit, guys, for me, is an energy about singlehood. And so if this person keeps asking to you to wait, this time you may be of a different opinion and you can also make the decision to pursue the hermit's road, which is one about singlehood, because this connection at the end of the day is falling short. It's time to assess the situation and basically realize what it can truly offer to you. Because right now, if there is someone that is satisfied, it's your person. You, not so much. It's time to do something about that. Gemini, the oracle cards for you. It's up to you. And Trinka 5, manifesting money and income. All right, energy for you. Six of Wands and the Judgment. Energy around you. Two of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. The Focus for you. Ten of Swords and the Magician. It's up to you to make a decision about a separation. Your person doesn't want to let go of you guys, Four of Pentacles. They can be quite stubborn. And they can also be convinced that the connection between the two of you is working just fine. So if we follow the successful vibe of the Trinka 5 Oracle card, this person thinks that the connection between the two of you is like a jackpot. They have won the lottery by being with you. What do you think about that? It seems that you can be of a different opinion, to be honest. The Ten of Swords is a disappointing ending, guys. I will not even try to sugarcoat the energy. But for me, it is true that once everything has been said and done, there is a new dawn on the horizon. So there can be the opportunity to find better situations moving forward. You may be ready, I want to say, to leave the battlefield behind. The battlefield somehow, some way can be the connection with this person. They can have a different concept about love. They can be someone that relies on you guys way too much. And at the end of the day, if there is no balance in the connection at some point, the situation will face a breaking point. And it seems that we are going there. The magician is a powerful manifestor, yes, but for me, he is the one with the higher vision. So he can see opportunities where other individuals cannot see anything. In this case, your person can still see the opportunity to be successful together when in reality you do not feel the same anymore. And if that's the case, it's up to you to make the final decision. The judgment can even be a surprise. This person can be surprised by the outcome, guys. But it seems that some of you can truly make the decision to end this connection in order to focus on 
new endeavors that you can recognize as more auspicious for you. Cancer, the oracle card for you. If you believe, and goddess, healing feminine energy. Energy for you, four of cups and the page of wands. Energy around you, knight of swords and the page of cups. The focus for you, eight of swords and the tower. All right, you can receive an apology, cancer, page of cups from someone that can rush in out of the blue, I want to say, Knight of Swords, after a tower moment, hit this connection big time. I want to say that you may be put in the position to handle an interaction with this person kind of in a simple way, page of wands, page of cups. You may have to avoid conflicts because this person can be someone that knows how to trigger you guys. And it's also possible to say that triggers were among the reasons that brought the tower to the ground. The Eight of Swords in the focus can describe the fact that if you think about the opportunity to resume and heal the connection with this person, you can feel stuck. You can consider the situation as a stagnant one. So one that is not able to offer you any type of positive development. So you basically do not believe anymore that something good can be achieved together with this person. The past, the three cups down below in the four of cups card, can play a role in this evaluation because yes, you can receive an apology, which can even be the divine offer that we see in the Four of Cups, but you may not be interested anymore. It's like you have already detached from the connection. And I have to say guys, that if the tower fell apart, it means that something important, something crucial was missing at the core of the agreement of the alchemy between you and this person. Maybe there was a betrayal, maybe there were interferences and your person actively contributed to the manifestation of those problems. Now it seems that some of you are not going to be willfully blind about what this person brings to the table. And for this reason, you may choose the opportunity to heal yourself by releasing this connection for good. Your person can struggle to accept that, but it seems that this will be the outcome that they will get. Leo, the Oracle cards for you. We have compromise and air. Work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation and see the truth. Well, you can do that. And maybe some of you are dealing with a air sign. Ten of Pentacles as the energy for you, together with the Eight of Wands, energy around you, the Hermit, and the Nine of Cups. The focus for you, Death Card, and the Queen of Swords. Here comes our air vibration, air energy. Guys, a conversation. Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands. A conversation with an important person for you, someone that took some time off from the connection with you in order to clear their mind. I love the fact that the two of you together now can see the situation in a much clearer way, and this can be beneficial for the connection or to the connection, guys. Compromise. It can be possible for you and your person of interest to find a new agreement that can be different from the last one that you have shared, that maybe was struggling a little bit somehow, some way. Now, truth is brought to the table by the two of you, and this is absolutely good. 
the conversation will be super precise and the two of you will touch multiple nuances, multiple topics that can be in favor of the opportunity to move forward together towards the Ten of Pentacles legacy, which is a family picture at the end of the day, a committed relationship, the opportunity to build for the future, the chance to take care of all the needs that can be involved in a particular situation. Your person has achieved, thanks to the Hermit energy, a higher level of understanding of comprehension about the connection with you. And I have to say that you may like that. They can make clear to you that the connection is a top priority for them, nine of cups, wish granted energy. I think that, guys, the death card can be a revolutionary change that can allow you and your person of interest to sweep away the factors that were not necessarily in favor of the connection so that you can work with more positive elements that can play in favor of the relationship moving forward. I think that this can be a positive plot twist for the connection between you and your person and you will have the chance to enjoy the development moving forward. Virgo, the oracle cards for you. Let's see what we can get. We have communicate clearly and triple moon, embracing all aspects of yourself, the divine and the earthly. Energy for you, the sun and the nine of swords, quite a contrast. Energy around you, high priestess and the seven of cups. The focus for you, three of cups, and the Ace of Pentacles, another contrast, if you ask me. Guys, you have been seeing someone, you have been dealing with a person that can be a major source of interest for you, you like them, the sun, energy about happiness, satisfaction, growth, but for me also an energy about inner happiness, so the clarity and the courage of a person to understand where their inner happiness truly is and how it can be possible to pursue it and amplify it more and more along the journey. So you may like this person, all right, but are they ready to be all in in favor of the connection with you at the 100%? This is a major, major question because it seems that you are dealing with a person that can be extremely quiet, like the A Priestess, but the Seven of Cups can be either an energy about confusion and indecision or an energy about options. And that's why the Three of Cups can become a tricky energy because it can be a vibration about the opportunity to share good times with another person, a person that we care about, but the energy can also become one about a situation with multiple people involved. That's why the Nine of Swords can become an energy about anxiety for some of you, because you may question the seriousness of this person when it comes to the chance to build a reliable partnership together with you. Guys, the only way to figure things out is by communicating clearly. You have to share an honest conversation with your person of interest by letting them know what you think about the connection, what you can expect in favor of the situation, and then by also demanding the same level of clarity and honesty from them. Because if this is merely a fun situation, kind of no strings attached, and your person of interest treats you guys like you are an option in their life, this is an unfair situation. The Ace of Pentacles as a major cornerstone may not be really available. And so you may have to basically realize what the situation is truly about. So 
it seems that this connection can be almost on the line. It is not lost yet, but a lot will depend on the feedback that your person of interest can offer you. But do not wait, you know, to figure things out when it comes to this connection. Otherwise, the Nine of Swords energy can increase its relevance and you can almost fall for a prison of the mind, you know, that may not be necessary because if this person is not interested, it is your right to move forward and pursue something that can be better for you as a situation. Libra, the oracle cards for you. We have forgiveness and self-confidence, strong self-belief and a sense of worth. Crucial, crucial factors, guys. Energy for you, two of swords and the two of pentacles. Energy around you, the empress and the six of cups. The focus for you, page of wands and the three of swords. So someone can ask for your forgiveness, 100%. Uh, an important person for you, I would say. Six of Cups, my favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. We can think about roots in the past for the connection between you and your person. The Three of Swords is a problem, guys, because your person either did something tremendously wrong against your connection or made some choices that contributed to harm the level of trust that you had in favor of the connection. Now they can reach out in a page of ones way. So it's like they want to test the temperature of the room. They want to warm up the connection once again, and they want to understand how you can react. I want to say that they can be genuine when they reach out, but the problem, guys, seems to be that some of you can be extremely closed off, like the Lady in the Two of Swords. You may not be that receptive when this person tries to kind of bring a lighter touch to the interaction because of what happened between the two of you. The moon in the background can describe either some doubts that now you can have about the connection or the fact that this person kept some secrets from you and that's why the connection suffered. So the Empress can be an energy about a healthy growth, a healthy development. This is what your person will say to you. They will say that if you forgive them, the connection can bounce back from the rat. You can be more iffy about that. Two of Pentacles, a difficult juggling act. What should I do? Should I forgive them or not? Rough waters behind the man, guys, in the Two of Pentacles. There can be a lot that the two of you may have to clear about the connection. And even if you do that, it is not said that your person can get a green light from you. You will have to stand in your power, guys. Self-confidence, strong self-belief, and a sense of worth, 100%, because without trust, there cannot be love. We know that. And if your person compromised the vow of trust that was involved in this connection, the crossroads may bring some of you guys to make a final decision that may not be in favor of the opportunity to forgive your person. And if that's the case, they had it coming. They should have known better. Scorpio, the Oracle cards for you. We have not the right time. And Earth, ask the element of Earth for grounding, stability and strength in times of chaos. Energy for you. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands, energy around you, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Wands, the focus for you, Five of Pentacles, and the Moon. It's a tricky situation for some of you guys. Times of Chaos. 
it can be it can be the case not the right time another interesting oracle card you have been dealing with a person of interest super passionate knight of wands but at the same time tremendously inconsistent they can get distracted super easily just like that three of wands they constantly look for something else something different something new the ace of wands was available for the two of you and we can even say that some of you shared amazing moments together with this person but then there was the perception that the connection wasn't completely real you know it was kind of like an illusion because of the moon and the five of pentacles guys in a situation like this one can be a tricky energy because it can be about someone that can feel left out in the cold it can be about you because this person can pursue other situations then misunderstandings for me the energy is the one that can bring us to talk with another person but they can speak a different language so we are two strangers and we cannot understand each other if we cannot understand each other we cannot find solutions to potential problems shaky grounds in favor of the interaction and so even the outcome may not be that positive and then guys i want to say that this person may have a different mentality a different mindset compared with yours you can be way more grounded way more stable this one seems to be a fiery but fleeting connection this person may have different expectations about romantic situations if you want the ten of cups guys the connection may fall short so not the right time can also be associated to a concept like not the right person the ten of cups is an energy about ultimate emotional fulfillment you know it's a vision that should be honored by bringing to the table a variety of factors and virtues that this person doesn't really care about they can be super ready to share with you ace of wands knight of wands moment but then not so much more it's like this is the connection for them they are putting it in a box a small one if we follow the five of pentacles and if you feel uncomfortable because of the moon which can be about fear factors if you think about the connection this is already an answer guys if you feel uncomfortable in the connection with this person it means that the ten of cups is not really available and so you may have to act accordingly and you can do that sagittarius the oracle cards for you we have success and labyrinth transition to a higher level of being raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment all right energy for you four of wands and the wheel of fortune energy around you king of pentacles and the nine of wands the focus for you wheel of fortune again and the three of pentacles you are dealing with an important person in your life you thought that the connection with this person had potential there was a true chance for success but the time factor can be against your person and also against your connection for ones 11 11 card for a lot of readers a soulful partnership for me it can be a desire for some of you guys a desire for a higher level of commitment you can question the opportunity to find productive agreements three of pentacles with your person they have the potential to be a king of pentacles even in favor of a four of ones relationship but this person can be like a materialistic human being you know more attached to the material side of life and 
this can be a source of disappointments in the connection. They can feel sorry about that, nine of wands, the wounded warrior, but at the same time, they do not really understand why you are asking them for more. They think that the connection is already a positive one, but for some of you, there is a countdown that has already started. And the Wheel of Fortune, guys, can be an energy about life cycles and life chapters. I want to say that some of you maybe have been counting on a transition in favor of a higher level of being for the connection, but if this doesn't come because your person holds back, the connection may hit a closing point. Because if there is no willingness to find multiple compromises in favor of the connection, there can also be a price to pay for that. So we are not there yet, guys, because of the Wheel of Fortune influence, but we are coming to a major turning point for the connection. Either your person understands where you are coming from about the Four of Wands, or there can be a surprising outcome for them and they may regret their rigid approach towards you guys. So they should be careful before it's too late. Capricorn, the oracle cards for you. We have Don't Stop and Philosopher's Stone, powerful manifestation of wishes and goals by harnessing universal energy. Wow, powerful oracle card. Energy for you, Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. All right, energy around you, Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. The focus for you, Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Tricky situation, guys. You can be upset, you can be mad at your person. Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords, discussions, fights, arguments, words that fly around and they can cut. Your person, uh, quite stubborn, but this is a clash between two strong personalities. You do not want to bow down, your person doesn't want to bow down as well. There can be an apology, yes, Page of Pentacles, but as lovely as the energy can be, it is not the ace. So, Three of Cups, Five of Swords, I want to say two things. Number one, for some of you, potential betrayal involved in the situation. Your person may try to deny responsibilities, but some of you can find out about the overall deal, and then there can be at least the opportunity, guys, to move in a different direction because a new agreement like the Ace of Pentacles is not really available with this person anymore. And the second thing that I want to say is that the connection between you and your person has been a fun one, a friendly one, three of cups. The two of you have had some fun together. You shared good times. But some of you in particular have started to nurture higher expectations in favor of the connection. Unfortunately, your person is settling for a page of pentacles mentality. The ace of pentacles may not be truly available for this connection. The two of you can clash. You can discuss, you can fight, knight of swords. You can consider your person as a stubborn individual basically the man in the seven of wands and the figure in green and red in the five of swords, clouded interaction. So it's like the two of you cannot completely understand each other. The connection can suffer because of that. As a further consequence, some of you may decide to leave the battlefield behind because the connection cannot truly allow you guys to manifest into reality wishes and goals that can be important for you. Guys, it seems that there can be 
an important conversation, a heated one, I want to say, but the odds are not in favor of your person in the two scenarios that we have mentioned. As soon as you make your final decision about the connection, you are not going to stop. And so this can become a missed opportunity, unfortunately for some of you. Aquarius, the oracle cards for you. We have helpful people and abracadabra with wings, fantastic good fortune and lucky chances. Energy for you, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Energy around you. Seven of Cups and the Queen of Wands. The focus for you, Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So guys, it seems that some of you are dealing with an indecisive person, Seven of Cups, questions, doubts, mm, I want to say potential options, maybe. But at the end of the day, this person can be extremely interested in a connection with you if we think about its physical side, Queen of Wands. But you may want some stronger roots in favor of the situation, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. And if you think about that, you can be super iffy about the future of the connection. So I want to say that some of you, have had expectations in favor of the connection with this person, they can be quite a character, guys. They can catch a lot of attention and they can be even a passionate lover. For some reason, they are full of doubts. Helpful people. I want to say that some of you were willing to cooperate with this person in the best possible interest of the connection. You have made clear to them that your offer, the Ace of Pentacles of the Night, was available, is available, but their hesitancy uh, didn't work in favor of the connection. So now, because of the difficult juggling act that we can associate to the Two of Pentacles, the reasonable and agreeable approach of the Queen of Pentacles can be compromised because if you were willing to give some time to your person of interest in order for them to clear their mind about the connection with you. Now, time is almost up. And the Eight of Cups, guys, can be maybe a thought at first, a thought that you can keep for yourself because of the moon in the background, which can be about secrets. But then the thought can become a reality because some of you may get the chance to let your person of interest know that because of their tremendous indecision, you can be tired of waiting and you can move in a different direction because the connection at the end of the day is unfulfilling from your perspective. So this person doesn't really know what they want, guys. They can be, again, ready to share passionate moments with a lover, but if we think about the willingness to put in the effort and try to find positive solutions for a romantic connection in order to develop positively, they are kind of lost. They are freezed, you know, in front of a big cloud full of things and they cannot make up their mind. So if that's the case, and if you want fantastic good fortune and lucky chances, you may have to make a decision, not only for you, but also for them. Unfortunately, the decision may not be in their favor because you can move in a different direction. Pisces, the oracle cards for you. We have no need to worry and time to shine creates the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Energy for you, seven of wands and the two of cups. Energy around you, king of cups and the hierophant. The focus for you, the Chariot and the King of Cups. Guys, it seems to be a situation about unrequited love. And you can resist the advances of a person that can be around you. Someone that has been waiting to let you guys know about their feelings for you. 
this person sees the connection as a positive chance, as a golden opportunity. The chariot in the focus as well. But you do not feel the same, Seven of Wands, a resistance you shall not pass. About what? About the chance to grow together with a special person for me, but this person may not be that special for you or may not be special enough for you in order to give them the green light. No need to worry. It can be an encouragement, guys. You may have to make clear to this person that you do not feel the connection. This is the point. Because it seems that this person can talk about commitment and plans for the future way too soon. And I have to say that uh, this can turn some of you guys off tremendously. And so even if there was a thought about this person, let's say, for the sake of the argument, it can go away just like that. The King of Cups can also describe someone that may not easily express their feelings and emotions. It's like this time, this person can give a chance to the opportunity to let you guys know how they feel because they can be almost convinced that you can say yes and the two of you can move forward together. When in reality, it seems that uh, for the chariot, there is a roadblock. So there is a red light. And some of you may have to offer this feedback to this person. I want to say, guys, that if you do not feel the connection, it is your right to let this person know that this is not an option for you. Uh, at the same time, what can be a golden opportunity for this person may not be a golden opportunity for you. And so we come back to the fact that if you do not reciprocate the interest of this person, you should be honest about that and you should let them know that as soon as possible so that you can even avoid awkward interactions with this person. I think that they had expectations, they can still have them, but they are going to get disappointed. And sometimes it happens, guys. You will have other chances, of course, moving forward. But first, you will have to handle this interaction in order to basically free yourself from it. Guys, bonus reading for the collective. Let's see what we can get. The Oracle cards remain positive. And the star, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. All right. Energy for the collective, ace of cups and the king of wands. Energy around the collective, the lovers. And the emperor. The focus for the collective, the fool and the ten of swords. Which is quite a contrast, guys. And it can be about two things. Either the opportunity for some of you to reconnect with a former lover. So the connection can face a crossroads. Lovers, heart of a head decision about the opportunity to try again in the romantic arena. There is the chance, guys. I have to say that. Uh, we got the full, a new beginning, a leap of faith, a let's try again, then... The Ace of Cups, which can be a new romantic cycle. And then two energies, super proactive, King of Wands and the Emperor. The Emperor can transform into action a plan well thought. So the person that some of you are dealing with can take action first because it's like they got a realization about the connection despite the previous breakup, let's say, the Ten of Swords moment that already took place. And then when this person reaches out, I have to say that some of you can still have love for this individual and you can be willing and ready to take action, King of Wands, in order to allow the full energy to be manifested. Because for some of you, the connection can still represent a star opportunity. 
and there can be a positive vibe in favor of it. Guys, reconciliations can be successful sometimes. The only thing that I want to say is that we have to make sure that the approach in favor of the connection is a different one compared with the one that brought up the potential Ten of Swords moment in the past, you know? And if you are familiar with our channel, you already know that for me, reunions, reconciliations, second chances are just words, they are labels. What we have to evaluate are factors like the intentions, the actions, the level of effort that can be granted in favor of a connection with a former partner in order to hopefully achieve better results. Otherwise, there can be the risk to face the same old outcomes. And in this case, the same old outcomes can be 10 of swordish outcomes, you know? Then guys, the second scenario that uh, I would like to mention is this one. Either for you or for a new person, there was a major disappointment in the Romantic Arena because of the Ten of Swords energy that we got in the focus. Now there can be a new opportunity. It is truly a leap of faith, the full. So it's like past burdens must be released in order for a new cycle to begin with a lighter touch. This can be a soulmate connection for some of you, the lovers, at the same time, once again, a crossroads, a heart overhead decision that can be made by you and this person together because there is a common plan, a common desire in favor of the opportunity to share a gift from the heart in favor of someone that can reciprocate it. This is crucial, guys. The Ace of Cups, guys, is an energy about self-love. So if you are the one, for example, that has gone through a Ten of Swords moment in the last relationship, you have to love yourself enough to release the burdens of that experience and bring with you only the lessons that made you wiser and stronger. There can be a powerful connection available for you guys. There can be a ton of attraction between the two of you, but what matters the most, if you ask me, can be the fact that you and the new person may have achieved, thanks to the experiences of the journey, a level of maturity, awareness, and wisdom that can be extremely positive in order for the two of you to cooperate in the most productive manifestation of a romantic connection that can be a true plus in your life. A true plus for the two of you. And guys, I want to I want to read again the message from the star oracle card that we got. The silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. This can be a serendipitous opportunity for some of you. And if you feel ready for it, I want to say that some of you may hold your person's hand and take the leap together. And this can be even a reward for previous experiences that maybe were not that fulfilling. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow, so thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.